Planting for Food and Jobs This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Tomatoes are one of the most cultivated crops in Ghana. It is an important source of vitamins and an important cash crop. Agronomy of tomatoes Step 1. Site selection. Soil should be well drained and fertile. The climatic requirements when selecting a site for tomato requires warm days, bright sunshine and cool nights for optimum yields. It is important to note that high temperatures and low humidity cause excessive flower drop and reduce yields drastically. Step 2. Land Preparation a thorough land preparation is important in enhancing early crop establishment and adequate weed control. Incorporation of well-decomposed poultry manure at the rate of 25 tons per hectare at land preparation may be beneficial. Step 3. Suitable Seed Varieties There are hundreds of tomato varieties to suit different climates and tastes. Here are a few of our favorites. Roma VFN, Pectomec VF, Tropimec, Rio Grande, Jaguar, Lindo, Titao Dema, Ada Coco. Always remember to buy certified seeds from reputable seed companies. Step 4. Planting. Prepare seed beds at 1.2 meters wide and at any convenient length, and then level beds. Sow seeds in drills 10 centimeters apart. Cover beds with well dried, non seeded grass or palm fronts. After emergence, remove dry grass and provide shade over the bed. Note that it is important to thin out and prick out seedlings at the nursery. Next is transplanting. Note, one week before transplanting, harden the seedlings by 1. Decreasing shade until at least one day full exposure to sunlight and 2. Reducing irrigation. Transplanting of seedlings should be done three to four weeks after emergence. Remember, planting should be done preferably early in the morning or late in the afternoon. Plant 60 by 30 centimeters in the dry season and 60 by 60 centimeters in the wet season. Step 5. Fertilizer application. Two weeks before planting on the field, apply a liquid feed of 5 grams per liter of NPK 151515. Use soil test as a guide to fertilizer application. The table below is a general recommendation. Two to three weeks after transplanting, apply 400 kilograms of NPK per hectare. Four to five weeks after transplanting, apply 100 kilograms per hectare potassium nitrate. Six to eight weeks after transplanting, apply 100 kilograms per hectare sulfate of ammonia. 
Apply fertilizers 7 cm deep and 10 cm away from the base of the plant. Note, application of adequate amount of boron and manganese will enhance yield. Establish tomato stakes or cages in the soil at the time of planting. Staking keeps developing tomato fruit off the ground, while caging lets the plant hold itself upright. Step 6. Weed Control Timely weed control is necessary for healthy crop growth. This may be achieved by frequent shallow hoeing, application of pre-emergence weedicides three to four days before transplanting will enhance weed control. Remember that agrochemicals must always be the last resort. Water supply is very important, especially in the dry season. Step 7. Pest and Disease Control Major pests are aphids, grasshoppers, white flies, crickets, leaf miners, beetles, mites and caterpillars. Control with the application of potassium soap solution, that is, alatasemina, at 5 grams per liter, insecticidal soaps or recommended insecticides. Major diseases affecting tomatoes at pre-planting and later stages include damping off, early blight, septoria leaf spot, sclerotium width, root knot nematode. Step 8. Harvesting Leave your tomatoes on the vine as long as possible. Fruits are harvested at mature green stage or full ripe but firm stage, depending on market demand and distance. Sort and pack stakeable wooden crates lined with foam or dry straw. Never place tomatoes on sand to ripen. They may rot before they are ripe.